All right, with Dorian now behind us, a reminder today that it is still summer with high heat and high humidity and a few isolated thunderstorms. Most of us are dry. We go to the outskirts to see the storms. First, up here along the Virginia border, a few thunderstorms up around Northampton County, also in between South Hill and Warrington. This little cluster was severe, meaning some damaging wind and hail was possible. But either way, heavy rain, thunder and lightning, not out of the realm of possibility tonight. A couple of showers trying to get going down here in Johnston County in Smithfield. Remember, Johnston County was one of three spots in our area that had confirmed tornadoes from last week. So it was hurricanes, tornadoes, wind, and rain. And it's strong thunderstorms along the coast today. So this is where everyone is um, as the president arrives. He came into uh, Cherry Point, which is just north here of Havelock. He was supposed to fly down to Emerald Isle, where Colleen Quigley was. We just talked to her, and when we were talking to her, we had a lot of thunderstorms around her. That's what they're dealing with. President was supposed to take a helicopter down to Emerald Isle. Well, that wasn't going to work, so we'll see if he makes it over to uh, Fayetteville, which driving is, what, two and a half hours. I'm sure he'll be on a chopper, so that scheduled event should go off as planned with no weather delays. Uh, those storms are moving away. But look at what we got across central North Carolina now. It is almost the middle of September and many of us were still around 90 today. And as we head into tonight with that high humidity, we're not going to get that cool. So down to about 80 at 8 o'clock, 77 at 10. You see we've got small rain chances. Thunderstorms are possible for the next couple of hours. Then drying overnight, slowly dropping into the low 70s. So it's not really going to cool off. And like this morning, we will have some fog tomorrow morning. What about the humidity? 74 degrees was our highest dew point temperature today. As we all know, the higher the dew point, the higher the humidity. This is as high as it gets all year round in here, like July and August. It doesn't get any higher than 74. So it was definitely steamy today. Unfortunately, I don't see that changing for the next few days. So what you felt today is what you're going to feel the rest of this week. And some thunderstorms are again possible tomorrow. We've got this frontal boundary that's just kind of draped across our area. That's creating some instability, most of it south of that boundary. So that'll hang around a little bit again tomorrow. So we've got another little chance of rain. For tonight, those areas I showed you to start off northeast of the triangle, that's where we have a marginal risk of severe weather. So those are the areas we'll keep a closer eye on. Remember, damaging wind, large hail is what we'll be on the lookout for. Marginal risk, our lowest risk, but still a threat nonetheless. So here's what we've got planned for tomorrow. Again, it looks like clouds early on, but that's the fog. So some patchy dense fog to start your day tomorrow morning. Then by lunchtime, that fog will burn off. We get into the afternoon, you see a few showers and thunderstorms bubbling up all around us. It's a small chance tomorrow, only 20%. Then we'll dry out as we head into Tuesday night. And Wednesday looks to be completely dry. Again, some fog Wednesday morning. We're going to have to get used to that this week, along with the high humidity. But as we get into the afternoon, most of the rain is far back to the west. So your seven-day forecast has us back into the mid and upper 80s tomorrow, still with high humidity. 90 on Wednesday, 92 on Thursday as we bring a small chance of rain back. And then we get toward the end of the week. And this weekend, highs in the upper 80s, still muggy outside, with 30% chances of showers and storms Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's a look at your forecast. We're back with more local news that matters right after this.